Hey guys, welcome back. What's going on? Hope everyone's doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick method where you can easily, no matter what, at the lowest point, make $70 and the highest point, maybe even over, but at least $100 as well if you push the limits on all the methods and areas I show you today. So let's go ahead and just jump into the video real quick and I'll show you exactly where you need to head to. So on the map, go on over to west of Thieves Landing, right here beside the railroad track, here off this little part of the shore. Now, once you arrive here, go ahead and just walk to the edge of the water. You can already see the fish are jumping pretty good. You can actually get your feet out into the water a little bit like here. Just so when you're pulling the fish in, you can get them in quicker. You don't have uh, more time for the animation to pull the fish in. And as you can see, there's tons of largemouth bass. There's tons of steelhead trout. And there's a lot of other small fish too, if you want to get them with the um, cheese and other some of the smaller baits and stuff. So go ahead and pull out your river uh, lure and go ahead and always just do dead eye so you can kind of see where you're going to cast to i already know where i'm going to from earlier so go ahead and cast out now i found a method that i've been using for a while it's pretty easy so as you can see when the fish first catches here um i'm gonna go ahead and let him fight like always but i'm gonna pull the fishing rod left and right with the left joystick now when i start reeling him in i'm gonna pull left right left again but large pulls basically meaning that i'm going to pull hard each time and see how quick it brings the fish in i mean it was just a matter of seconds i mean we we'll pulled in a large mouth bass and let's go ahead and cast out again real quick like i said i mean it was a matter of seconds where you got two dollars for that fish right there the steelhead trout out here are two dollars and fifty cents if you do this really quick i say within 10 minutes at the most you can get all the 10 fish that you need like I said, just keep doing that zigzag like I'm talking about with the left joystick as you pull the fish in. Initially, they'll fight. Don't fight them because you'll lose your bait. But during that time, still pull the joy left joystick back and forth to kind of fight with him. But as you pull him in, just kind of do left and hold it for a second. Right, hold it for a second. Left again, right again if you need to, depending on how far out you cast. But you'll pull the fish in really fast. I'll do it again here real quick for you to kind of show you. And I kind of do a first person here where you can kind of see. I mean, there's still tons of fish out here. And like I said, I'll do it again just so you can kind of see. Um, you know, because sometimes people, you know, they want to see different ways of stuff. And I understand that we all learn different and we all kind of catch things different. So like I said, you know, doing dead eye just because I didn't look right really good before I cast this out or whatever. Because I, I mean, once you get a certain amount of fish, you got to watch. You know, you might have nine of one and eight of one. And you don't want to keep pulling in the same fish after you hit your ten. Because then you're wasting time throwing them in. And something I've noticed too, and I'll show you in the next method, that it looks like Rockstar patched the part where you can get lower star fish um, by shooting with a varmint rifle or kicking them. And as you see right there, it's pretty cool. I mean, the fish are really easy to pull in here. The water, the water is shallow anyway, but doing the method of the big zigzags, um, I mean, it saves a ton of time. And just trying to pull them in one way. As you can see, I mean, it, it just basically, you see him just jerking him through the water. And what's good about here, since we walked out into the water a little bit anyway, the water's really shallow, about, I'd say probably about four feet out. So the animation kicks in pretty quick. So basically, I mean, you could get your fish really quick here. As you can see, I've got my 10 and 10. Within under 10 minutes, you can get your fish by doing this method. So we're gonna head on to the other part. It's just right around the corner in this little pond. I know a lot of people might know about it, but some people just might not. But either way, what I'm saying is, while you're here, you might as well hit it up. Because right where we were at, we just made $45 under 10 minutes. So basically what you come over here, and I'll do it really short, just for people that you know might have already known how to do this, which is still does work, so which is good anyway. Basically come around this side. I prefer coming around this side because you get a better eye on the fish when you cast your reel out into the water. So basically pull out your fishing pole and go ahead and cast out. And you'll see that there's some large fish, small fish, um, good good dollar fish that will pop up in this little, I guess basically it's a ditch. So basically put your fish and pole away and go ahead and just start running in circles. And as you run in circles, like a lot of you guys probably already know, but like I said, some may not. So I just want to share this with them. Um, you're actually scaring the fish onto shore and they beach themselves. So kind of just do it, you know, maybe 10, 15 seconds at a time. And I don't know if you guys can see or not, but I can already see some of the rockfish and stuff on the sides. And just kind of just keep repeating this a little bit right here, right away. These are 75 cent to a dollar fish that I've already got right here on this side. It adds in really quick. 
and what you can do is you can actually keep doing this method until you get 10 of each fish that are over here as well now you can get some largemouth bass here but I'd, i would recommend getting them at the other location so you can focus on the small fish here you get 10 rock bass that's ten dollars it adds up really quick um, some of the pickerels and stuff I think are a dollar two and then there's some 75 cent fish along bluegill now right here I'll show you where I think they patch the extra fish that are um, damaged as you can see right here I have some largemouth bass I've got my varmint rifle and you can see I'll shoot them and what it does is it brings them down to two star but usually we were able to still to sell them and you'd see them in your satchel so I'm gonna keep shooting here a little bit because I didn't know this until after I've done it and when I go to pick the fish up look at the top left it says you have harvested, you know, the a max amount of part, animal parts, basically, is what it's saying. Um, and I keep doing this for a second because I didn't realize it right away. And this clip I did record previously, whatever, because I came over to this part before I went to the other area. Um, and like I said, until I got it right about here, I wasn't even noticing that popped up because I hadn't never seen it before. Now, this might be something I did wrong, and if you guys did, tell me down in the comments below. But this is the way I've always done it. And as you can see in the satchel... I don't have the damaged fish you know so I kind of go back and forth a little bit and I look around and they're nowhere to show in my satchel whatsoever so it looks like they silently killed that as well which is kind of really a bummer because it did help out a lot but like I said you can keep running around this area you know um, scaring fish up on the shore um, but another thing too and I'm hoping it won't get too dark before we get over there I'm on the way back to Blackwater because we are south of Blackwater and that's where I'd recommend to go to the butcher um, we could pick up a cougar. Like I said, it might be an area that, you know, a lot of people know about, but it's good on this trip to get. But as we leave this little pond, if you go ahead and run over to this area right here, you'll usually always see at least two exotic birds over here. Sometimes they're pelicans, sometimes they're herons. Either way, these birds go for a good amount of money, especially their flight feathers and everything. So this is definitely something you want to do. And like I said, there's usually always a couple birds over here. There's usually more birds, but it's getting ready to get dark. So it does change things. You know, on the shores and stuff, there's always tons of birds, mostly in this area. But when it starts to get dark, it changes. So let's go ahead and head over to this area too. It's all on the way back to Blackwater. This is a video I did a long time ago called Pelican Island. If you search up my videos, you can see the full method here. But as you can see, when I get over here, usually there's, you know, between two to three pelicans on that small island out there, but it's dark. So it does change the time. But if you come around this corner, you'll always see at least two exotic birds here. They go for big money as well. Flight feathers, especially carcasses are usually, you know, right under $2. So earlier when I was skinning those uh, other birds, I was waiting to come get these because I knew the carcasses is worth more money. So basically hit this area up too on your way back to Blackwater. This whole method takes under 20 minutes. Um, I'm just spending more time to explain it to you guys. Like I said, if you do this real quick, and if you get really good at it, it won't take long. So as you can see right here is an area you can get a cougar right below the windmill and right near the end of Great Plains. But you can see there's someone actually over there hunting, so I'm not going to be able to get him because he messes up the spawn. So let's just go ahead and head over to Blackwater right to the butcher, and I'll show you what we ended up getting. Like I said, I didn't do this method as hard as I could. It's more just to show you. So for the gaming bird meat, we got $1.50 and $4 for the redfin pickerel, $20 for largemouth bass. Uh, we just got one bluegill, 75 cents, $25 for steelhead trout, $1.50 for flight feathers, $1.20 for seagull feather, $7.20 for whooping crane feather, $3 for chain pickerel. $5 for rock bass. And the carcass of the birds, we got $0.83 cents and $1.38. And that's about it right there. We made right at a little bit over $70. Like I said, I didn't push these methods as fast as I needed to. It probably really only took me about 13, 14 minutes to do this whole thing. But like I said, if you push it a little bit more and get close to 20 minutes, you'll make at least, I would say, a minimum $100. Especially if you pick up the cougar, as long as there's no one over the area hunting. I could have waited and picked him up. That would have been another $13.50. 
So guys, I hope this helped you out and get some more money. I know there's a lot of areas it's really hard to find money. I know there's still the Lake Sturgeon and Blackwater and stuff, but some of those areas do get very um, populated and it's hard to kind of do methods in those areas. So this is another one I've done for a while. I just wanted to share it with you guys as well. So if it helped you out, I appreciate it. If you like it, share it with your friends. Also too, if you haven't already, subscribe, click the notification bell. So anytime I have these videos come out, you can get to these areas before anybody else does. As always guys, I'll catch you next time in the next video.